Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. And me. And 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 the the famous. Sam. No, Gavco. <laughs> Who's Sam? I don't know. People keep asking me about Sam or something like that. Isn't that the ginger I got sorry about? What the one we buried up? Oh, I mean. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh. That's funny. So guys, yeah, this is gonna be a cool video. I got a couple tanks. Uh, real quick, right at the beginning here, I will address the auction. Uh, so I had some texts about people want to don't want to bid publicly. So if you want to bid, uh, you can text me, and I will comment for you under anonymous as your bid. And Mike, you won't let me bullshit, okay? Right? I mean, there's no way I can really prove it if they want to be anonymous. Yeah, sure. But but guys, you know I'm honest. I don't I don't bullshit like that. I'm not gonna try to scam it. I'm already happy with where it is. Um, you know, of course I'd like to get more, but that's just because I, I'm just enjoying. It. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. But um, but yeah, if you want to do that, just text me tonight. I don't care what time. I'll probably be up all night uh, hanging out with Mike since it's our uh, our last weekend uh, to to really hang out and do much. Romans. Shut up, idiot. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, guys, my number's on my website. So if you do want to anonymously uh, uh, bid, I will basically post up the bid for you. And uh, we'll do that. So I will post it on the video. I'll watch it and everything. So just text me. Uh, my number's on my website. So uh, so I got my Gavco knife collection here. This is Mike's. I put new bearings in his. It's very smooth. And there's a reason I'm wearing gloves. Uh, a lot of time ask is going on in this video. Uh, but first and foremost, my new uh, Gavco EDC frame lock folder. Very awesome. Really sharp. What's the steel on this guy? S thirty five M. Oh, really? Fifty nine six. Oh, so it won't hold an edge then. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> it's uh, it real, man. It's uh, good. Yeah, this thing's great. I mean, he's this is his first frame lock knife, and I'm impressed. I mean, it's not a flipper with bearings or anything like that, but I mean, it's smooth. It's and very no comfortable. No bad heat treat on this one. No bad heat treat on that one, of course. I changed the bronze to a nice stone wash just because. Uh, you know, I do I that, that stuff I apparently. Yeah, I, uh, it's bronze. I it's too much for me. There to, and uh, Mike was nice enough to put a number two on there as a reminder that he will always be second to me. <laughs> <laughs> and knife making, you know. No, I got number number two. So I guess he has number one. Let me see number yeah, one here. Guess who has number one? <laughs> he did this to uh, match his tannic, which is right here. No, I did it because that's the only pattern I can do. He did it because he doesn't know how to read. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah guys, um, whatever price Mike puts these at, uh, they're worth it. I mean, if he goes six, seven hundred dollars, which I don't think he's going to, it's a custom knife. I'm watching him work on these. He's working just as hard as I am. A little smaller, so they probably will be less than mine. Um, I don't think the size is real. Size well, you know, it's, it's you know, there's, there's no bearings and stuff and all that crap. Yeah, like, I spent all that bearings. freaking money on bearings. But uh, but do you guys? These are definitely worth the money for sure. I mean, it's sleek looking. It's really nice. This one, I actually when he start, showed me this one, I was like, I kind of want this one instead. But of course, he made me take Timascus. I hate Timascus. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. This one, the detent still messed up. Oh, nice it's pivot. It's still strong. It... What's up with the pivot there? I love this I one. I change it. He used the uh, brambles from the texture tech from uh, uh, Alpha Knife Supply. Your one-stop shop for all knife supplies. Yeah. Alpha knife They're supply. good. Yeah, on this one, the Deaton is a little strong, so you can't really flick it open. But that's... Yeah, it's a work in but progress But it's getting right now. there. It's actually... It's, Solid. It's the last thing right now to fix the Deaton and then the grind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mine... Deaton is good, but it's just a little too strong. That's that's actually not bad. I just got the nice Timascus there. Be my only Timascus knife, really. But I plan on using it and carrying it a lot, so... Thank you, Michael. And uh, also, this one, uh, Mike brought this out, and I shit myself. Uh, he, there's no way in hell he's leaving here without this being mine. Uh, I already offered him a pretty good trade. Um, I'm hoping, and because uh, I've always won one of these, I'm hoping that he'll take it. Uh, Tell the story. That was actually what you were supposed to get for your. I was, planning. yeah, for my tan. Well, I like folders. You guys know I like folders because. I, I like, I have a couple of Mike's knives, this one, and I've had some other ones, but I don't use them that often because they're fixed blades. I mean, fixed blades I use on very specific occasions, um, and I wanted something that I could always have on me, you know what I mean? So the 
I know that I'll I can carry this one all the time because I carry a folder, and it'll be nice to have you know the sharpness of a of of Mike's knives in a folder instead of having to basically. I don't even like really carrying it with a with a a uh, what do you call it? Tech lock. Tech lock, yeah. Only when I'm like actually going somewhere where I'll be using this knife or a knife, you know. So uh, that's why I went with this one. But uh, Mike is uh, kind enough to take me up on possibly doing this trade uh, for this guy. I mean, I fell in love with it. Uh, I'm definitely paying a good amount of money for it and uh, dropping a good knife on him. So this is just gorgeous, guys. I mean, I'm not saying this because Mike's here or because he's my friend, but from experience, where's my other one? It's right there. Machete? Yeah, machete. I don't think I'll even touch this thing again with anything. <laughs> well, actually, this one's more fun. I'm feeling weak. I'll just break this one out if I'm feeling like a... I love this one. Um... But I'm going to say, honestly, honestly, the best fixed blades I've ever used in my life are Mike's. Period. I mean, they may look a little dumb, but, you know, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> the father's handle. <clears throat> yeah, the, uh, you always got to have that little, little pee pee there. It's just like, it's my signature thing, man. It's just signature no thing, with you know? a little bit of father's in the handle. Yeah. Feels natural to you. This is epic, though. The sheath is ridiculous, and I, <clears throat> this would be like, if I was to choose something from Mike in a big blade, uh, this would be the best thing I could possibly ever own. It is it's fucking amazing. Uh, especially since he made it for himself. So his, The ones he makes for himself are always better because he doesn't give a shit about his customers. <laughs> so I knew I'd take this one first and foremost. So anyway, yeah guys, so you'll be seeing a video of this guy probably tomorrow. It did like three, four hit two by four. Today. Yeah, it's just, tomorrow I'm going to do some videos on this one here, I think, with some chopping. Just we're going to have some fun, party. You guys live in the area, and uh, they're gonna celebrate me leaving. <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty much. So, all right. So anyway, moving on to the Tanix. Uh, I'm gonna show the full time Ascus one, but I'm gonna do a separate video uh, tomorrow during the day with good sunlight, and uh, I'm gonna bring out the camera and basically have Brian help me out with the lighting just to make sure it's perfect. Maybe you'll get an idea what it looks like. But first, I love I love both of these equally. The Timascus one, of course, is all Timascus, so it's something ridiculously expensive. So, but this one, uh, this is a good guy uh, from overseas. Uh, he contacted me, a uh, really nice dude, and uh, he came highly recommended as a good dude from uh, Jim Skelton. Uh, I talked to him, and uh, yeah, he's just a really good guy. He wanted an interesting style uh, uh, Tannic, a one of a kind, and uh, he wanted to be in the first twenty, so I bumped him in there. There was one person that, that dropped out of the 20 uh, out of nowhere. So, and uh, so yeah, basically I replaced him with, with one of the top 20 here. So he'll basically be a number in there. So I'll basically probably put him at number 20. Uh, I have to find out which numbers are actually taken and who actually gives a crap about their number. I'm pretty sure that person's going to regret it. Yeah, that person's already regretting it. I know that <laughs> for sure. Um, so this is for him. I don't know if he wants me to say his name on camera or whatever. But... Uh, Dude, this is yours. It's he wanted me. He just gave me a couple guidelines. He wanted bolster. He wanted blue G10, blue backspacer, and uh, and stone wash. And he just left it open to me with the Persian style blade or the Bowie style blade. Style blade. But uh, basically, I kind of wanted to do something different. And uh, I got really annoyed with the G10. It wasn't working for me. It was just kind of looking just not where I wanted it to be. So uh, I did a partial mirror polish here. Uh, there's still some lines in it, but they're very clean lines. Uh, the blade looks beautiful. I, I really like it. I wasn't sure how it would turn out. Uh, of course, Sebastian will be getting the same thing. Uh, it's a pretty damn mirror. It's just clean looking. All the lines are even. So it, it's even though it's not mirror polish, it looks real clean. Everything else is stone washed real nicely. Uh, and then you got the uh, this is a titanium inlay, like kind of just with the reptilian pattern just popping out a little bit. It's really he wanted like electric blue. He said so. I end up as a really really nice blue. Of course. With the oils from your hands, it'll turn light blue, which I'm happy with, uh, instead of purple. Uh, so I got it that perfect blue where even with the greases, it'll turn like a light blue instead of purple. So it'll still be blue blue. Uh, but when you put the Windex on it and everything, or like some kind of cleaner, it just it just comes out like super bright blue. So there's a little, uh, it's a pretty thick piece of tie. Just set in here, I milled out this whole area. It was not easy. Got the pearl marbly looking uh, hardware there. Got a nice reptilian pattern titanium backspacer. And then you got a reptilian pattern pocket clip, uh, very nice pocket clip, and uh, this is a like an over travel slash like design element here. Uh, I can't see anything through my camera right now. Um, this is not my idea. I, I actually kind of borrowed this from uh, uh, Serge Pachinko. I saw he did it on a knife. I'm not claiming ownership to it. 
It's an over travel, but also just looks gorgeous. I wanted to try it because it tied in so well with this side. Um, and uh, both sides, it looks like crooked, but the t the tannic is a weird shape. So I can't do this with my left hand. A weird shape, so everything kind of doesn't look straight. But it actually is straight. I actually measured it and everything, and and when it's closed, it looks more straight because this would be the straight position right here, and it's flat. So, but I really like the way this Persian blade just goes nicely with the contouring here. So, so dude, I hope you like this. I love it. Uh, this provides a lot of grip up here, just a little subtle grip, and the stone wash is beautiful. My stone washer is kicking ass right now. A nice rock pattern on the inside there. Uh, every knife will have like some kind of, no matter what it is, even if it's just concealed carry, nothing special going on, I'm still going to put a pattern in there under the blade because I just think it would be really pretty cool to have that. Um, uh, this guy needs a little, little, little bit of tweaking. It's a little sticky, but other than that, it's pretty good. So everything's perfect. Centered blade, action's ridiculous. Really nice. And uh, next up, so this one, this guy, you guys probably know him as uh, Sean Riva Photography, uh, or something like that. Uh, but he's been a friend of mine for a long time. Uh, what a pain in the ass he is! Like, seriously. <laughs> Like, he, he sends me things, and, and it always ends up being amazing at the end. Like, me and him kind of go back and forth. We argue and stuff, and the result is always just incredible. So I kind of, I let him annoy the shit out of me. But, you know, he's a good friend, though. Definitely a good friend, a good guy. I talk to him a lot. He loved the Tanix, and he had a lot of input, actually, on the designing of the Tanix themselves. Uh, nothing to do with the shape and size or anything like that. But with the internals, with the bearings, uh, it was all him, like, pushing me to do it. <clears throat> and then he wanted... To one-up everybody by spending a ridiculous amount of money on Timascus and having me do a full Timascus uh, Tannic. So I was a little bit hesitant about it because uh, I had to find out if it was good material for, for a frame lock and everything. Uh, Alpha told me, you know, it's good, you know, uh, and it's just it's just as good if not better sometimes uh, than uh, regular titanium. And uh, this was an epic journey of, uh, I just, it was a horrible time doing this one. I mean, I was back and forth with uh, with Damien, my machinist, uh, the guy who does my water jetting, and I use some of his CNC stuff. Um, you know, me and him, like, he refused to even cut out the scales with the water jet or anything until I had done at least, like, five or six tanks perfectly, because uh, he saw how much the time mask has cost, and he didn't want to mess it up, and uh, he didn't want me to mess it up. So, there was some mess-ups involved after everything was said and done, but, you know, it turned out actually, like, perfect, and, uh, I'm glad because I don't want to hear it from, from Sean. He's very anal about his knives. He wants to flip like an RJ and, you know, perfect tolerances and all that. So that, you know, I was a little bit uh, pressured by him. But, you know, I don't care. But it turned out perfect. And uh, this is the result. So he wanted mirror polish. Couldn't do it. Uh, really nice polished stone wash. Gorgeous. No grind lines at all due to the hours of hand rubbing this. Uh, you got the nice logo, and of course you got the concealed carry, Timascus. This piece was actually made specifically by Alpha for this project. Uh, he wanted something really beautiful, and they definitely deliver every time. So, and uh, all the screws are sort of like this one here. They're kind of like the pearl, like key coloring. And I will show this tomorrow too, guys. So, in the sunlight because you're getting you're getting some weird shadowing, and it's mirror polished. So, what are you looking at me for? Then you got the Timascus backspacer. It's kind of a lighter uh, anodized. You can see lines in it, like close up. Got this little uh, bit of uh, jimping here, just to add some sexiness to it, kind of tie them all together. Uh, this side actually is the opposite side of the Timascus. That was the mistake, but it turned out gorgeous. I sort of, I like both sides actually, but I, I sort of am like impressed with this side. It's beautiful. Uh, and as you can see, the clip matches the front, and the clip is a lot more blue in it. Uh, it's really contoured and rounded everywhere. So even though it sticks up a little bit, you can't feel it. It feels amazing in your hand. It's just really nice clip, great in the pocket. It acts as an over travel because I did notice the Timascus is uh, a little easier to overextend, I guess you'd say. Uh, so the pocket clip is and over travel itself so but the action is where everything is on this thing it's ridiculous and I'm glad because I wanted Sean to have like like really perfect action like the other ones 
and I was worried I'd mess it up, but I really love this a lot. And I'm probably going to chop it in half with my new Excalibur. <laughs> Mike, you're so quiet. You squeaky? Squeaky detent? Some people like yeah. that. Okay. Is it sharp? Does it cut? Does it cut the papers? No! You saw me cutting earlier with it too. Of course you can't cut now. Oh, I didn't touch it. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, I can't. The fan's blowing at me. Yeah, I don't know. It stopped being sharp just by sitting there. Well done. I can't. You, you didn't know how to cut I don't know paper. how to cut paper. Uh, here, hold on a second. Alright, so, as you can see, I still haven't learned how to cut paper. Mike's leaning over the it's table okay. here. It's okay. Here, take this. No, it's good. I mean, it ain't no gavko, but it's good. <laughs> no, it's it's sharp. Here, let me, uh, let me test it out going through bone here real quick. It shaves. This, this really is all you need in a knife. Oh, is it? All I need? Oh, Mike, you're all I need in a knife. You're leaving me. Son of a bitch. Oh, it is. So, uh, yesterday I went to Wieners and Knives. Uh, I don't know if the video's been up yet. I'm sort of dreading that video. Uh, we had a little bit of alcohol in us. Uh, it was a little crazy. Terra Fanatic is a nut job. Uh, I, I absolutely love him. He's awesome. Uh, he did not care about how loud he was and who he was scaring the shit out of in the restaurant. I think we were all pretty, pretty damn loud. Um, until Barry yelled at us. Barry kept yelling at us. New to knives? That guy's a jerk, man. He's always yelling at us and shit. He's always calling the cops when someone's like, you know, talking to... I don't know. It's weird. That guy's a <laughs> dick. No, anyway. Alright, guys. So, I uh, just wanted to show you all that stuff. I crammed all in one video here. Uh, Sean, give me a call when you see this. Because uh, maybe you've already had a heart attack and passed out when you saw a picture of it I sent you. I love it. Everything's perfect on it. Uh, it had a lot of issues, and it just kind of kind of fixed itself. I guess it kind of the Timascus sort of just set into place properly, and it's just awesome. It ain't an RJ, but you know that's that's kind of perfe perfection. I can't expect perfection out of your first knife. So, so guys, yeah, anonymous bids. If you want to text me, just text me, uh, and it will end probably tomorrow. Um, now, I apologize in advance if I forget. I'm ha we are having a party here for Mike. Uh, I try to do between 8 and 9. Mike, can you try to remind me? I'll try to remind myself. Yeah. Anybody wants to text me between 8 and 9 tomorrow to, to end the auction, that would be greatly appreciated. There will be a free Gavco knife in it for you. <laughs> right, Mike? Well, come to your house and clean your bathroom. I'll one of my knives, too. <laughs> mm. That one would get up to a lot there. What? That Excalibur, I'd pay... Uh, 50, 60 bucks for that tops, man. <laughs> 50, 60. I know, it's a lot, I know. 50, 60 bucks is just our rent. This is after I spend like 2,000 so. <laughs> on top of that. Okay. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night. My Tannic's kind of hungry, so I'm going to feed it this uh, little Timascus thing that he gave me. <laughs> Look at that, it fits inside My there. EDC will eat your Where'd it go? I don't see it. <laughs> it's hiding inside your the tank. wishes to be my EDC. <laughs> no, my tank's gonna rape your EDC. Look at that. There's two of them here. They're gonna gang up. It's a, it's a girl knife, man. I'm joking, dude. I love it. I love it. It's awesome. You guys, should definitely pick one up if you can. Not yet. Not yet. One's, one's like Just call Eric. I'll give you his number real quick. Uh, you guys can call him now. Okay. No. All right. And his address in uh, Florida. <laughs> uh, I will do the number once I move and set up the shop, you know, I will open the books and for certain things, but not yet, I'm still not ready. He's not ready. Yeah, I mean, I have to be... He's got a prancer size for a little while before <laughs> oh he gets God. ready. This is actually one one reason why I'm ashamed saying that I'm going to Florida, because of prancer sizing video. That's the one thing that shames you about Florida? Dude, How about Jim Skelton lives in Florida? Dude, that's gonna that's be horrifying. Awesome. Dude, I wouldn't want to live anywhere like within a hundred miles of that guy. One of the first things I'll be doing, creepy. I'll go visit him. Creepy guy. He's a cool dude. Dude, that guy...
3 a.m. He calls me. He says, hey man, how's it going? <laughs> just want to know. I just want to hear your voice, man. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, it's just. It's almost like me then, right? <laughs> My munchkin. My oh. munchkin. Come here. All right, guys. Now we're just <laughs> ranting about nothing. Have a good night. Peace. Look at yourself.